Hi, welcome to Microservices Lab. In this lecture, we are going to mutate the nested objects. So let us get started. So let us go to the src slash main slash resources directory and open the schema.graphql file. Here I will create a new object type called author that we will nest into the book object. So let us create it type author it will have id of type string name of the author of type string age of the author of type int and now we will use this author object in the book object as each book will have an author 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 so this is how we nest an object into an another object so now when we have the author in place we have to add a few more arguments over here you can use the input types but for simplicity i am going to use the individual arguments over here so now we have two more arguments let us let us first change the name as well over here first book name of type string pages of type end author name of type string and age of type end so we have modified our create book mutation to support the author arguments as well now the next thing is to modify the sql as well to create a, a new authors table so let us do that create table authors it will basically have similar fields so let us use them id where care name where care then we have age of type int and then we will use the book id as a foreign key in this authors table so let us define it book id where care 255 it will be a unique id and it will be not null now let us define a SQL constraint for foreign key constraint book author fk foreign key and the name of the foreign key in this table is book id which references the books table and in the books table it references the id column so we have actually defined a new table called the authors now the next step is to add a new model or an entity for the author so let us go to the model sub package and create a new class called author generate comments and this will be actually mapped to the authors table so let us annotate this with the table annotation and pass authors as string and this will have uuid id the name of the author of type string the age of the author and the book id as well so there is one thing that needs to be taken care of and that is the name of the field book id here it is book caps i and then d and in our database we have defined the column name as book underscore id so we have to map this field to that column and in order to do that we have to use the 
column annotation. Let us use it. Column book underscore ID. Now let us define the default constructor. I will use the shortcut Shift Alt and S and then generate constructor from super class. And now let us create the getters and setters as well. Select all and generate. So our author entity is ready. Now let us create a repository for author. So let us go to the repository sub package and create a new class. We will call it author repository. And as it is a repository, we have to mark it as repository or we have to annotate it with the repository annotation. And now we will use the database client provided by the Spring Data R2 DBC. So I will auto wire it simply database client client. And now first we have to create a method for saving an author into the authors table. So let us create it public void create author. So here it will receive an author instance author and what we can do is we can use now the client but before we have to assign author an id a uuid so we have to create it so uuid uuid author id equals to uuid dot random uuid and now let us set this uuid in the author object author dot set id author id and now we can insert it using the database client so client dot insert dot into we are going to insert into the authors table which is mapped to the author class so let us use the author class dot class and we will use this instance to populate a row and then we will return the author id Let us return this. So we have successfully created a new method called create author in the author repository that will save an author instance. Now let us create a service for author as well. Class author service. So first we have to annotate this class with the service annotation provided by Spring and then we have to auto wire the author repository so that we can use the author repository. Now let us create a new method that will actually use the repository to insert the data into the authors table. So create author. And this method will specify two parameters the author name and the and the age of author but as you can see that in our author class we need one more argument and that is actually the book ID so we have to specify that as well so let us specify it as well uuid book id so these three parameters are what we require now and let us now create a author object author equals to new author author dot set age age author dot set name author name and author dot 
set book id book id and now what we will do is repository dot create author and we will pass this author this will return us a uuid wrapped in a mono and as you know that the graphql java api doesn't support the uuid so we have to convert it into a string and for that we can map it object to string and this will basically return us the string which is representing the uuid of author so let us return this So now we need to modify the book service as well. Here we are getting two arguments, the name and the pages, but now we have to fetch two more arguments. But first the name is converted to the book name. And we have two more arguments to fetch. And let us rename this as well. This is now book name and we have to fetch the author name as well equals to env dot get get argument author name and we can fetch the age of the author as well using the same technique age and now what we will going to do is we are going to first insert the book and after the successful insertion we will insert the author as well so let us first create a book over here that we are doing actually here so book book equals to new new book let us I'll comment this out for a moment to get the exact errors and we will return null for now we will use different constructor provided by the book class and here we will use the book name and the pages and now we will use the repository the book repository to create a new book and we'll pass this book this will return us the uuid wrapped in a mono so for now what we will do is we will actually do a map and in this map we will be getting the book id book id so what we will do now is we will save the author as well so to save the author we have to auto wire the author service as well author service author service and now we can use the author service to create a create an author so let us wrap this in a block first because there will be more than one line so author let us import it yes author author equals to new but wait we don't have to create the author over here because we are creating it in a author service so we will use it directly so author service dot create author author name age and book id so now as you can see that here we are getting a string wrapped in a mono which is basically the author id but as the parent we need to return the book id only so we have to write some logic to convert the book id instead of this so what we can do is we can do a map on this as well and we will return this and in this we will get the author id which we can simply ignore and can return the book id for now and this will now return the uuid 
basically the book id but as you know that we are going to pass the string into the compatible future so what we can do is we can do a two string on this and now you can see that we will be getting a mono of type string so that's okay for now so we can remove the curly braces because we are not going to use multiple lines or multiple statements and there's one more thing over here and that is we are using map over here and we are actually returning the mono so we have to use flat map to actually flat map the types that we are getting in the inside the flat map function so now what we will do is we will first we will split into multiple lines let us do that and now we can do it like to future we can convert into a completable future and we can return it directly return this and as you can see that our book is book local variable is only used at one place so we can use the constructor directly here so that's actually all we need to modify in this class now let us see if we are missing something or not let us take a look at our graphql application and for now it is it is okay so let us try this but first let us start the server run as spring boot app so our graphql application is started let us now go to the altaya let us now write a mutation but first let us fetch the docs first and now we can see we have a create book mutation that takes four arguments and we, we are going to use this mutation so let us do that mutation create book and it takes four arguments book name let us say my first book and then we have pages we have 200 pages then we have author name author name is xyz for now and the author age is 50 so let us run this mutation as this returns a string so we don't have to again specify the fields because it's a scalar type so let us run this mutation and see what we get as you can see that our book is successfully created and we get the book id over here this is our book id we can't fetch the book right now because now we have a nested object as well so we need to modify a few more things or the data fetcher to load up everything like the author and the book as well and we will be doing it in the next lecture so that's all for this lecture i hope you will get something from this lecture please share this video and subscribe to my channel thank you